out of Ocean County, there may be a baboon on the loose in Jackson. How did you know it was a baboon? Um, the butt. The what? The butt. The butt? <laughs> what was the butt like? It was all bald and red. Well, a little girl says that she saw Six Flags Great Adventure trying to determine whether one of the monkeys did escape from the park. News 12 New Jersey's Tony Caputo is in Jackson, where Tony, I guess you could say it's the baboon who's going on safari now. <laughs> and this has been quite a chase here today, Eric, to say the least. And last night, News 12 New Jersey's Sean Bergen spoke with a young lady, about 10 years old, who said she saw the baboon. Today, I spoke with an adult who says she saw the baboon, uh, baboon as well. And let me give you a look. This is a beautiful neighborhood here in Jackson. But you have homes and then some thickets, some woods and trees. Uh, honestly, a perfect escape for a frightened baboon. But we ran into the woman after she called authorities and said, yeah, I saw the monkey. I only saw him right when he walked in front of the back door. Jackson police, along with officials from Great Adventure, continued the search after a resident on Winterberry Boulevard spotted the baboon in their backyard. A short time later, the call came in from nearby Buttonwood Drive. I heard the kids out earlier today, and they're little, like seven and five, and I'm trying, I have 911 on one line, and I'm calling them to tell them to get the kids in the house, but uh, it was, I was just nervous. I was very nervous. <laughs> That's yeah, certainly understandable. Not a, something you go through every day when you know there are kids out, you get concerned. We've been looking up in the trees, looking all around, as have many others here in Jackson. There were a couple of calls today on this baboon being spotted. Now, Great Adventure officials say at last check that they don't believe it's one of their baboons. So we're going to see how that plays out. They also say that they usually don't do anything to humans. They'll see a human, they'll kind of shy away. A couple of the police officers we were chatting with say they think that it's a little more accustomed to being around humans if it is indeed from great adventure. So we're going to continue to follow this story, Eric. We'll see how it plays out and any new developments. We'll keep you up to date. Still, that's enough to make you drop your morning cup of coffee. You go to the back door and you see a baboon sitting there. You can't make this Absolutely. stuff up. All right, Tony Caputo <laughs> in Jackson. Tony, and uh, we did some.